Dun, 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 dun. Today's episode is brought to you by Greens. Yes. Hello guys, welcome back to an episode by Brand World to another unboxing as promised. Sorry if it's kind of echoey in here. If you didn't watch a couple day vlogs ago or something like that, um, Brayton used to, this used to be his room, but we repainted it and made it into my mom's doTERRA massage office type place. So it's a lot more empty, so it's kind of echoey. But finally, it was about 10 days late, because the last one was December 15th. Today for us is January 25th. But we finally got our second young box. So we're filming at this little table. So last time Brayton was sleeping, but this time I am being joined by him. And yes, he still has so his snow pea hair. But this one, as you can see, the flag there is from Greece. Um, last last time it was a, if you haven't watched it, the link is down in the description. Um, but it was a special one to start on because it was a... Uh, the, like, from different places because it was around Christmas time. Yeah, because like I got confused because I knew that usually these are just from like one place or something. Um, but this one, um, but that's because it was December 2017, which was a special one from multiple different places. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so if the lighting just got better, I figured I remembered um, on my little rig that I had my camera set up. I even have one of the things. I got like my whole rig for like making movies set up right now for you guys. So if the lighting's a lot better, that's why. Um, but yeah, so if you can see that, I might have to edit and crop in, zoom in there. But there is the Greece flag, and it says, Welcome to Greece. So we're not in Greece. Yeah, we're in America, like the average the average human on YouTube. Um, so then the next thing as you get is the little pamphlet thingy that set has trivia on the back. And it says, welcome to Greece with a wrecked building, probably by some silly uh, Greasians. Silly. And Greasies. And, um, Greasies. <laughs> and it, it just says all of the snacks that um, are wow. coming in this box. So last time, if you remember, there was like this caramel fig thing and I almost threw up. It was pretty bad. Hopefully there's not things wrong. that bad. I almost got shot. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so what do you want to start off with, Brayton? Let's do the Oregon herbs. Yeah, uh, an, an old video I, I called the spice oregano, I called it oregano, so Brayton's making fun of me because he won't drop the bone. Okay, so yeah, so we're starting off with oh, quick crinkling, bro. Okay, so we're starting off with Toti's oregano chips. I, hopefully they're not as powerful as those dill pickle chips in the last episode, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to handle that much oregano. But you here's how first. they look. Brennan will edit and zoom in on this right about now. Um, and it says it has 52 grams of Kaoapo Babo. Oh my gosh. You guys know how there's like chips, 10% um, <laughs> chips, 90% air. <coughs> like this this is the worst example. It's literally just crumbs. And that, that's Larry the Chips. That's horrible. Brayton may have dumped a few in his lap. But in my lap? Now it won't just be me trying them, so they feel moist. Moist. Okay. Don't try it yet. I'm gonna try it together. I need a bigger one. Okay, here we go. They smell pretty good. Okay, first one. It's actually kind of. I'm getting prepared with the drink. These aren't bad. Ooh, those are actually really good. Kind of, the taste in the like back of your throat is kind of... Yeah, once those they go pretty, down, they're kind of weird, but these are definitely pretty good. I would say they're better than both of the chips last episode. Those are definitely pretty darn good. I can't remember what they taste like, but they taste exactly <laughs> like something I've had before. But I can't remember. So what should we have next? That was really good. Usually I try going like something that looks good and then something that looks disgusting. Let's just go farther and farther. Farther and farther down. Yeah. Um, that's another chip, so we're not gonna do that one quite yet. And yes, there is another um yum bag, other known as the same exact thing as a McDonald's toy bag. Which are is my main enemy in life. Yeah. <laughs> my life goal is to defeat the McDonald's bag. Even Brian can't look at him. <laughs> I sure can't see. They just stretch eternally. The McDonald's toy bag secret will never be unleashed. <laughs> okay, wait, hold we on. We need again. to go get some. I felt some it almost. Oh, there's a little hole in it. Get it. 
barely. That was way <laughs> <laughs> just barely ripped off. I was gonna like fly everywhere. No. Look at this. They, include, they included like two of everything, so it's perfect. Yeah. So we got two of these rock hard caramels, two mini derbies, two jellos. Jellos. Yo, these Wait. feel weird. I want to try these. These next. Yeah. Okay. These, these, they, okay, so these are so bergamot good. jelly candies. So these look pretty good. They have like a green. What is that? It looks like an apple, but then it looks like a slice of a lime. Ooh, that sticky. Huh. Okay, well, I guess from their turkey box, I don't know what month it was, but I guess they included something from bergamot. But here we go, bergamot jelly yeah. jello thingies. Okay. Oh, yeah. they're wrapped in a little separate it's like parchment it's paper. Right, since I already tried it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ew. Mm -mm. That looks like. Mm -mm. That looks like some sort of, like, Drano, something that cleans out your drain. So, <laughs> look at that. I don't know how well, but you can, if it stops focusing on on him. Um, there we go. So you can see it's, like, sparkly, and it has this really weird stuff. So, Brick, did you like it? No. Okay. It tastes like... Like a gum... Oh, that's the texture of those fruit snacks from the Nature Box that I did not like at first, but they kind of grew on me over time. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. It's not horrible, it's just... Oh. Isn't it? Okay, so if you guys watch my TV commercials, like, parody video, um, there was this one part where there was pills, and I had this doTERRA bottle Which that I... had bergamot in it. Yeah, before. that I had ice in, or, um, to pretend like it was my pill bottle that I drank pills <laughs> out of, but there's still a little bit of, like, lemon doTERRA <coughs> left in it, and I almost puked because I got, got like, non-edible doTERRA in my mouth. This is almost exactly what it tastes like. Like bergamot's edible. Yeah. Ugh. It's not as like bad that. as that, but it's not amazing. It tastes... I don't like the smell of bergamot. <laughs> it tastes like it chemicals. Taste? And I have, like, blue stuff all over my hands now. now where did it's you probably, get blue stuff on your hands? Probably the box, like, lead ink or something. Yeah, because they put ink in a box or that lead, contains lead paint. Lead paint. Lead paint in a box okay. that contains food. Well, I think we might as well try probably the most disgusting thing. <laughs> So if you guys have seen, um, like, when you order, like, a computer or something, they always come with, like, this metallic bag that holds all, like, the ion batteries. That's what this looks like. It's quite cold, um, and it just says, Parthenon olives in a pack. A Green Parthenon olives, that's a pack of... <laughs> Green pitted olives marinated with fennel and cor coriander. Okay, so yeah, so Parthenon green olives with fennel and coriander, so... I'm not putting the entire thing in my mouth this time. No. <laughs> For things like this, there's a little open here thing. For things like this, I'm just gonna... Oh, I can already smell it. I, I don't like olives, by the way. Brayton doesn't either. Yeah. I can already smell it. Smell yeah, it. these are literally just olives in a bag. Oh. Smell. I smell it. Oh, man. I just got chills like down oh, on my God, feet. Oh, God. That does <laughs> not look like an olive. I don't want to try it. I'm not trying oh, it's way. all moist in the bag. Oh, <laughs> it pooped a little seed on I'm not tea. trying this. <laughs> I'm not trying this. You don't pay me enough for this anyways. <laughs> so they're little pitted olives, so mm. I might have to run out of the room right here, but... Oh, get the door with Oh, me. they smell like vinegar and so bad. Oh, well... Oh, I'm a giraffe. Mm. Yeah, I just took a look. Uh, it's not even going down my throat. You're not gonna spit it out. No, I got it down, but well, I mean, I think. Okay, yeah. I think. That was really bad. That was. I just took a little mm -hmm. bite of it, and that was almost as bad as the fig Newton with caramel thing. So <laughs> they're literally just olives, they but I don't like olives. Insect eggs. Yeah, they're really powerful. Like they taste like pure vinegar. Bread chips now. Mixed with olives. Of These course. can't be bad. I think they're like onion. Yeah. So now onion. we're gonna try Toadie's onion bread chips. So they're probably gonna taste like the, um, maybe a little bit like the garlic chips from last episode. Hopefully, cause I like those breaks and didn't like them. Why do all these chips smell the same? I don't know. Hmm. You try it this first one this comes time. in a quite nifty little bag. Like this is a pretty <laughs> high quality bag. You try it first this time. I don't really like they it. look and smell like the what are the little salad like hard bread stuff. Bread. 
<laughs> Whatever they are. I'm not a salad eater, but I like I like the croutons. That's what they are. They smell pretty darn good. They look like little pieces of... <laughs> <laughs> they look like little pieces of bread with holes in it. So they're very seasoned. So they definitely smell like uh, like like um not croissants um like uh little things so Brayton's eating it he sounds like his hedgehog very crunchy So those are pretty darn good. Not like the best, but I would say like I the the two chips from the last episode were like some of my favorite things from that box. But even both of those chips, I would say I still like better than both of the chips last episode. Um, so yeah, so definitely those are pretty good. So so far this box is pretty darn good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna try is Bliss Cocoa Toffee. So I thought these were like the caramels, but these things are the caramels. Um, so yeah, so they're just like little plastic wrapped little uh, chocolate toffee things. So Windows.exe cannot compute how to open this. <laughs> yeah, sure. Are you yeah. opening yours? I don't know if I am actually. I can't open it. It's just mine. tearing in it every way it possibly can. Oh, here it comes. Maybe it's the test if you're a god or something like that. I think I got mine open. <laughs> Smells like a Tootsie mm -hmm. Roll and it's rock mm -hmm. hard, like if you can hear this. Like those Tootsie Rolls I accidentally, like you get it's from the Christmas bouncy. parade or something, you leave it in the car overnight. Yeah. It, it, it feels like one of those. Let's see if I can bite into it. I can't open it. Whoa. Once you bite into it, it just like turns, it's not even rock hard at all. Like when you're pressing on it, it's rock hard and you can hear it. But you bite into it and it's just like a Tootsie Roll. I got it open. Good. That's the best thing in this box so far. Yeah, Very I, I nice. want to say it's like the Brayton likes it the best so far. I don't like it the best out of the box so far, but it tastes like a, it tastes and feels like a Tootsie Roll if it was like more gourmet. So, not just chocolate yeah, wax. Yeah, Tootsie Rolls are everywhere. Yeah, not just chocolate wax, gourmet chocolate wax. Yeah. <laughs> um, really good gourmet chocolate so, wax. I think we'll try this next. So this looks pretty American, except for the uh, Greek writing, Greek, yeah, Greek, um, <laughs> writing all over it. But it's Olympos uh, Almond Sesame Bar, 30% honey. So it looks quite American. Like, it looks like some sort of Nature Valley bar or whatever. So it's Sesame Pastelli with almonds. Well, it looks healthy. Why would it be American? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just he probably cracked it, Brandon. Blocked that with my two <laughs> fingers. <laughs> okay, let's open this puppy up. Okay, it looks like a little bird snack. That we did break it. It looks like a granola bar that the seed, the little like things were like. But you could get this to a bird. <laughs> Shock kernels all over you. Okay, there's your little clasp. <laughs> okay, I don't think Brayton likes it. I actually really liked it at first. It just tastes like a granola bar or something, like a Quaker granola bar. But then when you like start getting it towards the back of your throat, this just like insanely bitter taste pops in. This looks like the best. It kind of looks like just a giant Kit Kat bar with dark chocolate, which neither of us are a huge fan of, but it's right. Um, but we're going to save that best for last, so... Um, the pupeta! <laughs> so we're going to try these other things. So the last thing that came in the McDonald's toy bag type thing, and they're just called Derby Chocolate Bar, even though it's like, says it's all, like all caramel. Can you so put this on your wheels and it like make you... Ion. on. I'll make a little derby car out of these. <laughs> ion? Just through the tech... Oh, it just shot stuff all over me. This looks I thought good. it was going to be smooth. This looks good. Oh, what is all over the bottom? This looks good. Well, it's like all textured. This looks good. I love crunchy candy. 
Yeah, it looks pretty darn good. It kind of looks like a more rocky mm -hmm. turtle. If you guys know the turtle candy, that's what this looks like. This looks really good. It's like a crunch bar with caramel in the middle. Mm. Yeah, because I'm not like a huge fan of just plain caramel, mm. but when it's mixed in with like Snickers, like Snickers and Kit, or not Kit Kat, Snickers and like um, Twix and all that, some of my favorite candy bars, so. Definitely more caramel than like Snickers. Mm. That's good. It tastes exactly like a Snickers bar that's easier on the teeth. So like... If your grandma still wants her Snickers bars, this is a good option for her. All she's got to do is, like, go to Greece. <laughs> so, don't know how that jazz will work out for her, but. Okay, so that was definitely probably my favorite thing out of this box so far. Um, but now, on to the last thing, which I don't know if we'll beat that, because it's pretty much the same thing without the caramel. Um, but it is the... Serenata Dark Chocolate Wafer Bar. Um, so yeah, so I guess the word Egeas or whatever means health on the package, of course, so it must be somewhat healthy. It's a dark chocolate Kit Kat from Greece. Yeah, it's got the little Greece logo on it, or <laughs> Greece logo, like the a, Greece flag. One of those old people candies I get at some stores, and they're like the flavor, like strawberry vanilla, and they're oh. like the wafer with that cream stuff. This is so satisfyingly, like, smooth and nice. And it focuses wow. on that. Sorry if there's a little bit of a ringing. I can hear that when I'm over here. It's because my super powerful light. It's not even on full power right now. That's full power. I know. You gotta go like... I don't know if you guys can really tell the difference, but... It's a it's like a mini stadium light, and you can connect, like, as many as you want together. But I showed it on the Christmas video. I feel like it's darker. It's okay, darker. so we're gonna... <clears throat> break that. <coughs> oh, it's kind of like green. So, Ew, why is it green? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so here's the inside there. Um, as you can see, it, oh, it really looks green on why camera. Is this so light? Jeez. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> we're going to try this. So here goes the last snack of the box. Sounds like packaging like foam. It does taste like what I thought. You know those uh, old people like wafer stuff out of the cream and it's like really sweet? Yeah, like the strawberry things. Yeah, it tastes like that except one of the vanilla ones. I think it tastes like a more dense Kit Kat without peanut butter. I would say that's my favorite thing out of the box. So, overall, even though this one was just from one place, unlike the last one was from all over the world, I definitely say I like this one better. There's only like one snack that I truly did not like, and then two that I was like, uh, no. So yeah, but like these three and the chips were pretty darn good. So it's like three snacks that weren't decent um so yeah so I'm i'd say there now just to eat. we can just use my little coaster that i made for my mom and dad for christmas for the for the two winning snacks oh god a little bar oh god and that what if we bring zelda in here she's gonna eat everything she sure is oh god zelda's his hedgehog if you haven't seen it i posted the video um, on Friday, which for us is tomorrow, but for you guys, Brian, was, there's crumbs everywhere. A couple days ago, yeah, we're gonna have to like get a sweeper after the video. But yeah, and then again, on the inside it says "empty box, not for long," and then on this side it says "more yums are coming next month," which of course, as I said last video, my mom <laughs> got us next two months. Yeah, next month. My mom said no. um, that she got us a 12-month subscription. So for the next now. Um, yeah, for the next 10 months, we will be doing one of these unboxings around this type of month. I would expect them usually like 15th to 30th oh. or so of every month for the video to be up, because that's, it seems like when these come. Um, and of course, we've got to stay on schedule Monday and Friday. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that is it for this box. So, um, there will be, of course, videos in between, but until, um, February's box, that is it for January 2018's box. So, um, yeah, if you would like to start your subscription with the Unbox, like the last episode, link is down in the description to the website to start. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so, we'll see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Bye!